Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. Today I'm going to talk about the components of limbic system. Uh, this is a physiological medical video lecture. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So you know what limbic system is. Limbic system. The limbic system is nothing but it's a, what you call it has a two parts. One is a cortical and subcortical structures um, that form a ring around the highest of the cerebral hemisphere. Okay, uh, limbus means a ring, right? So try to remember. And the other name for this it can be a rhinoencephalon. Rhinoencephalon. Okay. Right, so let's talk about the what you call the components of the limbic system. The limbic system has the f what you call four components, main components. We're going to talk about. I don't know whether you will get the space over here to write. Okay, the first one we call as a archicortical structure. Archicortical structure. The other one we have. Pelicortical, pelicortical structure, or a paleocortical structure. Okay, and the other third one we have juxtalo, juxtalo, cortical structure, and the subcortical structure. Okay, the Archicortical structure forms allocortex along with the pelocort pe what do you call pelocortex. Okay, it's the oldest structure and this is concerned with a memory. Remember, this is really very important. This is for memory. Okay, the archicortical structure of limbic system. It has a two parts, two structures present in this. One is a hippocampus and the other one is dentate gyrus. Okay? The archicortical structure ha is concerned with the memory and it has two parts, two structures present, the hippocampus and a dentate gyrus. Then we have paleocortical structure. The paleocortical structure, the second one, is present between the archicortical structure okay and neocortex and it's concerned with olfaction smell okay so what are the structures present over here piriform complex sorry piriform cortex then we have olfactory lobe then we have olfactory tubercle olfactory tubercle olfactory lobe olfactory tubercle okay the juxtalo cortical structure or it's also called as a mesocortex is situated between the paleocortex and a neocortex okay between the paleocortex and neocortex remember and the structures present over here are cingulate gyrus of limbic cortex okay then we have orbito insulo orbito insulo temporal cortex o i t orbito insulo temporal cortex okay now let's talk about the what you call subcortical structure this subcortical structure of a limbic system is situated below the level of cortex and are called as subcortical. Okay. So what are the six important structures present here are one is amygdaloid complex. Amy amygdaloid complex septal nucleus. Okay. Thalamic nuclei. Hypothalamic nuclei, 
chordate nucleus and the last one is RF that's the reticular formation okay so these are the important structures present in the limbic system so try to memorize this okay and the next video I'm gonna talk about the functions of limbic system and uh, Pepe's circuit okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care and uh, please do subscribe and if you like the video please thumb up thank you so much take care